Okay, didn't take the turn. Okay, we have to turn here actually. Okay, so oh, nearly touched the curb. It's not able to make the call. So I have to jump in. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Asad and today I'm testing further the FST supervised version and I'm gonna try to go to the city uh, center city Philadelphia from New Jersey and we'll see some observations along the way I did notice some things while I was driving from New Jersey to Virginia so I am gonna see if those were one-off kind of things or there are some issues with the FST so let's see and I'm gonna be providing you my commentary along the way and I'm gonna be fast forwarding some of the um, you know parts where nothing much is happening <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see from here uh, some people complain that the car drives really close to the curb I don't think it's really close it's a little bit towards the left side for my liking but it's not like really really close to the line so again uh, it changed the lane I think the average settings are working better. Still uh, on the autopilot was a little too slow or less reactive, I would say. In one mile, keep left in I noticed that in my last trip the car was getting confused when it, re it reached uh, the toll booth it was not like able to make a call I had to take over and pass it through the toll booth but uh, I just want to see if there this was a one-off kind of thing or there is something which this thing cannot uh, do at this point. I don't know why it's slowing down. There's nothing in the front. Okay, let me increase the speed again. Okay, the speed limit is 45 here, so I think that was the reason. Conditions permitting, so. There are two things that I've noticed, right? So first of all, it was slowing down almost a half a mile ahead of the easy pass. Uh, like which I didn't understand. It could have gone like a little bit further. And then when it went close to the actual easy pass, it got confused. Let's see what, what happens today. So we are reaching a toll booth here. Stay 
in the easy pass lane. Actually, let's see what the car is gonna decide. So, so that one is the easy pass lane. There are a few lanes that are closed, and you see, like it's confusing. It's 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 not able to make the call. So I have to jump in. See this this thing. Yeah. So again, I am I'm gonna take over from here and try to pass it because. As you can clearly see, the FSD, FSD got confused. Okay, and let's see. Turn it back on. We're going towards the city now. Another thing you guys uh, have to worry about when using the FSD, love this technology, love everything, but it won't stop or like watch for the potholes, which I just uh, took over the control and moved my car there because there was a pothole back there. Car was going to go over that. The FSD does not uh, recognize potholes. So especially if you're using the bigger wheels, you want to avoid potholes at every cost because otherwise these wheels and tires are gonna cost you an arm and leg as they are expensive.
And if you can see, like we are not close to the curb, we are far away from it, so it's good. While it's making the turn. So this is a tricky turn that is coming up. Let's see how this is gonna tackle. Now turn right onto Benjamin Franklin Parkway. I'm also looking at the how close we are from the curb. Oh, it didn't take the turn. Okay, we have to turn here actually. Okay, so oh, nearly touched the curb. Nearly touched the curb. It was really close. Very close. It was really close. I didn't feel any scraping or anything, but I'll have to check when I get out. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Now enter the roundabout and take the first exit. City streets are bad, full of bumps and humps and all those things. You see a Model Y everywhere you go. <laughs> I think they have sold these cars like crazy. Everywhere you see it's a Model Y. Okay. This person is walking there and it's showing up here too. So vision system worked great. Okay, so there's a bus stop there. Let's see how it's gonna tackle that. So it's going to bypass that. That's good. It's doing good. And I'm surprised. I love how like the people are showing up here. People who are walking on the streets are showing up here too. So that's amazing. Oh man, I don't like these roads. It's really shaky. So, so there you have it guys, like there are a few things which still need to be addressed by the Tesla team again, like people were complaining about like turning too close to the curb and it, it did, it nearly touched the curb in one go and then also we noticed that uh, the car got confused a few times uh, during this journey on different, you know, aspects, different now turn situations. Now Chestnut Street. So there's still some work needs to be done on the FSD front. But again, this technology is amazing. Like, you know, it's only going to get better from here. Uh, you know, so that's, that's what my thought is. And like, again, if you guys are interested in these kind of videos, please consider subscribing. I'll be making more content around Model S Plaid in general and the FSD stuff as well. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys and provide your feedback in the comments down below. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye.